Research can be done to compare a standard health treatment to something different or new to see what works best. This can be done for medications, medical devices, and even behaviors such as diet and exercise. Such studies are often set up with experimental groups and control groups. Those in the experimental group will get the health treatment being studied. Those in a control group will usually get the standard treatment for the condition. If there is no standard treatment, those in the control group might get a placebo that looks the same but is not intended to have the same effect as the experimental treatment, or they might get nothing at all. If people were able to choose which group they were in, it is possible that the groups would start out being very different from each other before the study even began. For example, if volunteers were given the choice, they might prefer the experimental treatment or the standard treatment based on their family history or their prior experience. Likewise, if researchers were permitted to choose, they might decide to place people into one group or another based on a physical exam or on the person's reported symptoms. The possibility that the groups might be very different from each other before the study even begins is called a selection bias. It is important to prevent selection bias because things like a person's age, lifestyle, genetic risk, and disease progression can have as big an effect on the outcome of research as the health treatment being tested. If it is not prevented, selection bias could ruin a study so that the results were invalid. Good research is designed to reduce or eliminate the risk of selection bias. For this reason, neither a volunteer nor a researcher is allowed to decide who goes into which group. Instead, group assignment is done using something called random assignment. Random assignment is basically like drawing a ticket out of a hat or flipping a coin to choose which group someone will go into. In reality, many studies use a computer-generated random number or a similar method. For some studies, a group of people might be assigned together. For example, if a researcher were comparing two different methods of teaching, all the students in the classroom might stay together. Half of the classrooms in the school might be randomly assigned to get one teaching method and the other classrooms assigned to get another. If a study is using random assignment to assign people to groups, those who are in the study must be willing to accept whichever group and treatment they are assigned to get. Whatever group a person is assigned to, that person is playing an equally important role to improve science and produce new health innovations.